to another in our series of gardening tips to help you get the best from your garden. Today we're working in a garden that we've just finished building and planting and we're going to add some climbers onto the new fencing. New fencing can be really quite bare and stark when it first uh, goes in and cladding it with some beautiful climb, encouraging climbers to grow up it, perfect way to make it greener and softer. So what I'm going to do now is add some wires, some tensioned wires onto the fence for this lovely, lovely climber, which I'll show you in a moment. It's an evergreen jasmine. It's Trachlispermum jasminoides. Evergreen has beautiful flowers and scent and is a really uh, spectacular addition to any garden. So now I'll show you how to put wires onto a fence. We use these hooks, these stainless steel hooks, and we screw them into the fence to give a nice strong anchor point for the wires. So use pliers as well because it's very difficult to get it tight enough by just using your fingers. So what I use is a heavy gauge garden wire. It's available in any DIY store uh, or garden centre. Uh, it's about five pounds for a roll, about 30 metre roll. And it's ideal, it'll last for many years and with it being coated with a green plastic, it's quite invisible when it goes on. So all I do is I feed it through my screw eye and then I twist it round to give a nice secure fixing at this end on the fence. Then I pay out the wire to go to the far end, really probably two to three meters is about as long as you really want to do. And then that will allow us to keep it nice and tight for the plants to climb onto. So now we've tied in the wires onto the fence and they're nicely tight for the plant to, to climb onto. The, the way then to tie the plant onto the wires is to use a soft string. Now I like to use this, it's very economical soft jute string. <clears throat> it's quite cheap, about a pound of roll. <clears throat> and um, the beauty of it is that it only lasts for about a season. So it gradually rots off over the course of about 12 months. Now the reason I like to use that is it means that as the plant grows and the, thems, the stems thicken, then the plant isn't constricted. If you tied the, the plant onto the wires with wire or very strong string, then as the plant grows, the wire will bite into the stem and will cause the, the plant a lot of problems. So this very cheap brown, wire, uh, brown string is absolutely perfect for this job. But what I do then is I recommend that we tie the string onto the wire first. Now you can use a granny knot or a a reef knot, I really don't think it's that important. And then we take the plant here and we try to tease it out a little bit to give us as much cover as we can over the fence. So when the plant arrived, it had been trained onto canes, so it was really rather congested. So I want to pick my main stem and then tie it on to the wire to give it some support. And that's going to just help the plant not get too bashed about when the wind blows and uh, it starts to, to grow. So I'll do that with all of these individual stems. And then of course the other thing that you can see here is we've got little bits of dead growth that have um, appeared and it's really a bit untidy. So once you finish tying the plant in, I just go around it, just nip off any of these dead bits that are not going to look very attractive. Uh, any of these bits here and the plant then will just look absolutely lovely. Give it a good watering in, get the mulch around the base and enjoy it. <laughs> 